What's good, Cram family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video brings a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Also, after this video, check out my newest song, it's called 2020. I'm gonna leave a link in the pin coming for you. I surely appreciate that. Check out that after the video. Today, we finna check out this new video from The Riches. Y'all made it. Sure, y'all go watch the original video after this. I'm gonna leave the original video. Link will be in the description. But this is how Eminem spent a quarter billion dollars. A quarter of a billion dollars. Just say that with me. A quarter of a billion dollars. Billion. Billy B. Billy. Big B. Like, bro, I got to give me some money, man. M, let's get Eminem it, Eminem is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. Even the away dope. from his musical ability, his story is one that emphasizes the idolism of rags to riches. Facts. It's well known that Eminem had a troubled childhood. Even with a poor start to life, he eventually found a way to carve out a successful career in music. With his hip-hop fame... That movie 8 Mile inspired me, bro. Like, everything that Eminem has done is just literally inspiring, man. To see him come from nothing to being one of the biggest artists in the world. Hey, man. Me as an artist, I get inspired from stuff like that. Money was soon rolling in. As such, Marshall Bruce Mathers has made a number of high-profile purchases. Today, we're going to look at what Slim Shady splashed cash on, some of which may surprise you. A lot of celebrities will splash out on many big houses. However, Eminem <laughs> broke the mold. Kinda. In 2003, he bought a mansion in Rochester Hills, Michigan. He spent a whopping $4.75 million on the property. In 2017, Slim Shady decided to sell the mansion, all for the price of $1.9 million, less than half of what he originally paid for it. But due to him selling this abode, we can actually see inside one of Eminem's former residences. It's Wait, I wonder what made him sell it and to sell it for half the price? That lets you know money ain't really a thing for him. That is wow, man. Really wow. 17,000 square feet of land with six bedrooms. It's also said to have nine and a half bathrooms. There's also a tennis court, a waterfall pool, a guest house See? with game room, and an entertainment cabana. But he still has one mansion in his arsenal. In 1996, he spent almost $1.5 million on a house in Clinton Township, Michigan. Little is known about the house except for images taken at the front of the building and an image from above. However, we do know the whole area is 8,900 square square feet. Since then, it's been his primary residence. It's definitely a big change uh -huh. from his childhood home in Detroit. Marshall Bruce Mathers III. But see, one thing I will say about Eminem is like, we don't hear about him like buying super overly expensive things, you know, like supercars and things of that matter. Like he maybe, you know, has them, but he don't, you know, get on the ground and be like, oh, look at my Lambo or something, 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 you know, like just pretty much being a show off. You know, he's real humble about his. Look, he got a, a one point something million dollar house and it just like i'm pretty sure he could probably get a bigger house than that but you know he, he he like hey i don't need all of that you know it is known for his bling including watches but unlike a lot of celebrities eminem often sports the variety that isn't out of the price range of 99 percent of the world take this one the white colored g-shock dw6900 I mean? nb7 yeah you heard that right as highlighted in the music video i need a doctor with dr dre and skylar gray this model from 2011 can be hard to track down. However, it tends to be around $99 when it is available. There's also the G-Shock GDX 6900 MNM1. It was made in partnership with Eminem in 2013. It was to celebrate the 13th anniversary of the G-Shock line. You can find the model on eBay from upwards of $600. Eminem did spend a little more on his Rolex Datejust. This model can go for around $7,000. However, he doesn't tend to wear it often in fear of it getting scratched. However, it can be found in photo shoots along with the most expensive wristwatch in his collection the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar Skeleton 258290R this stunning pink gold timepiece is valued at around 120 
thousand dollars. After the massive success of the Slim Shady LP, Eminem Crazy. decided to create his own record label, Shady Records. The hip hop label came into being in 1999. Since then, Shady Records has signed 12 acts at some point over the years, including 50 Cent, D12, and Bobby Creekwater. But setting up a record label from scratch can quickly become expensive. There are many aspects to consider, such as the size of the venture. For a medium sized venue, the cost of the recording equipment can be as much as $200,000. 200k that's taking into account technology like microphones a mixing desk but see man that lets you know you gotta invest in yourself i think it's a smart move for every artist to invest in a studio whether it's a home studio or a big studio like that you need your own studio and speakers and much more on top of that, there's marketing, which can cost upwards of $4,000. Then there's the facility itself. The cost of leasing a building suitable can be around $150,000. Then another 100 grand to remodel. There are estimates that it could cost at least 350,000 to create a medium-sized record label. But for a large label, it's priced at around 2.5 million. On a smaller scale, it can cost at least 20,000. Considering the longevity of Shady Records, Eminem has probably plowed hundreds of thousands into his business. Like we mentioned earlier, Eminem wears a lot of bling. Bracelets, rings, watches, and necklaces have all been worn by the man himself. One of his most famous pieces is the silver triangle pendant necklace. It sparked rumors that Eminem was involved with the mysterious Illuminati. However, that is not the case, at least we think. It's actually the symbol <laughs> used in the think. Alcoholic Anonymous Association. Eminem isn't a stranger to addiction issues. He states that his children have helped him battle the beast. The three sides of the triangle represent unity, service, and recovery. Recovery. The circle around it represents AA as a whole. The particular necklace that Slim wears is estimated to have cost 100,000 bucks. This year, Shady will be 12 years sober. Congrats, Shady. In 2003, Eminem showed the world. It's so crazy how something so small could cost so much money, man. That is, I, I, I never understood that. Like rings and stuff. Like, why are they valued and cost so much money? It be so small, you can barely see. World is generous <laughs> attitude to money. It happened during a gig in 2003 in London. Eminem chose one fan from the crowd and handed the woman a jewel-encrusted crucifix. Some have stated $300,000. However, Shady himself has spoken about the necklace, and he said that it cost him an enormous $450,000. What? Whoa, 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 So he just handed it to a fan? Where is that fan? Like, I would really want to see a story on the fan who got that and what they did with it. Did they keep it? Did they sell it? Like... I got so many questions. Celebrity doesn't have a drool-inducing car collection. Eminem is no different in that regard. He has many cars that instantly make a person jealous as they gaze upon the vehicle. One of the cars in his collection is extremely rare. In 2004, Porsche released the Carrera GT, yet only 1,270 were ever made. At the time, they were being sold for around $450,000. Today, that price would be even more. He also has a Ferrari 575 in his garage. This car was only limited to 2,000 units. It's often sold on car selling websites for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Another of his cars is also mentioned in his song, Love Me, where he states, 911 Porsche, same color as cranberry sauce. The exact model is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It can go for around $200,000. Shady also has a touch of James Bond in his collection, an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. It can reach 100 kilometers in just three seconds. This classy motor car is bought for around $150,000. All Bond gadgets sold separately. Yeah. Back when Shady was purchasing his Rolex, he called his manager to ask if he could afford it. The reason for this is because he wanted to have enough money for his daughter, Haley, to go to college. After all, Eminem wants his kids to have a better life than he did. Haley Jade is well known by Eminem fans. That's dope that he thought about his future versus like, hey, let me just blow out this money that I have now. You know, I don't really care about the future of my kids. <laughs> and so she is regularly referenced in his lyrics, especially in the early days. College in the U.S. is very expensive. On average, it can cost $30,000 per student per year. For a full four-year course, it can cost up to $120,000. Without Sheesh. the aid of grants, it can be hellacious to save up that vast amount of money. Well, for Shady, it's even more pricey. Not only does he have his biological daughter Haley, he has also adopted two children. Elena is his niece. He took her in when her parents were unable to look after her properly. He also adopted Whitney. She's the daughter of Eminem's ex-wife and another man. Wow. With three daughters, college alone can cost Shady an eye-watering 360000 bucks. This doesn't even take... I think if I had money like that, I would adopt kids too. It's just like, 
you know, if you got the money to do so, why not, man? I, I love kids, man. If I had the money to be able to provide for them all, you know, I, I would definitely look into doing something. Can do account the usual cost that kids can demand every day. In a 2011 interview with Rolling Stone, Eminem dives into his passion for arcade games. He got this love after watching 2007's The King of Kong documentary. This film was all about Steve Wiebe's quest to get the world record in Donkey Kong. Eminem's recording studio lobby has machines for Donkey Kong, Frogger, and Space Invaders, just to name a few. A couple of the machines are signed by Eminem's hero Steve Wiebe himself. These wow. retro machines can cost a lot of money. A restored yeah, Donkey Kong machine from 1981 can cost a little under under three thousand seven hundred dollars. 1981's what? Frogger can cost three and a half thousand. Then Space Invaders, the classic game from 1978, has a price tag of around three thousand bucks alone. Each of these machines can be upgraded for a cost of an extra five hundred bucks. Many of the classic games, such as Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, can cost as much as four thousand. Eminem doesn't just look at the machines, though. He's made attempts at beating the world record for Donkey Kong. Each of the highest scores have the initials MBM, Marshall Bruce Mathers. Newer hmm. games don't fuss Slim Shady. He finds them too complicated. He prefers to play the 8-bit marvels. Celebrities, especially musicians, are commonly linked to owning a private plane. Eminem is no such exception. He was reported to be the owner of a private jet. The cost of purchasing a jet can range from $3 million to $90 million. Yeah. On top of that, there are operational Damn. costs that can be between $500,000 and $1 million per year. However, the reports that Eminem owns a jet turned out to be false. Instead, Slim Shady leases a private plane. Considering the fact that a plane can decrease in value over time, it's probably a good choice to rent instead. Exactly. However, just like, I mean, it, it, in a way, it kind of would be smart to buy a, a jet, but then you got to think about it. Like, you would want your jet to be the newest and make sure everything is upgraded to up the par because you're flying, bro. Like, when, if I'm flying, bro, I want everything to be right, bro. Like, uh, I, I'm not, I don't want anything old. <laughs> Just because he rents, it doesn't mean he can't demand use of it at any time. In 2018, musician BB Rexa received a phone call from Eminem's manager. They were requesting her talent at the Coachella Music Festival. However, Rexa was busy with other commitments. They sent a private jet to pick Rexa and her family up. Then they arrived in Coachella and met Eminem for the first time before they appeared on stage together. Yeah, Sounds like Rexa got a pretty great first impression of Slim Shady. Like Another key element of Eminem's wardrobe is his sneaker collection. Wherever he goes, you can almost guarantee that he'll be sporting a dashing pair of trainers. In 2004, for the release of Encore, Eminem was gifted a pair of Nike Air Force One Lows for him and a few of his friends. These black and gray shoes were custom made to celebrate Shady's records. A pair of these are quoted for going as much as $10,000 online. He was also gifted a white variation of the same shoe. These had been sold for around $2,000 online. In 2005, Eminem was gifted another prize sneaker pair. They were Air Jordan 4 Encores. It's considered one of the rarest Air Jordans in existence. It's rumored that only 50 pairs were originally made. With that, it's no surprise that people selling the sneakers are looking for $40,000. In 2017, Eminem worked with StockX to release more to the public as prizes, but with a... I don't know if I could spend that much on shoes. Like, I, back in the day, I used to love Jordans and buying shoes, but nowadays, bro, I... I can buy a pair of twenty dollars shoes and be happy, bro. Like, I, 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 me personally, I be like, shoes are on the ground; they're going to get dirty. If especially me, I'm the type of person that like to wear my shoes. I'm not the type of person that like to put them in cases or something like that. You know, I, I want to wear it. If I paid this one money for some shoes, I want to wear it, bro. <laughs> you know, catch only twenty three were ever made, making them even more exclusive than the original release. Of course, some have been sold on the internet for as much as $22,000. Slim Shady has another passion, one that can get very pricey, very quickly, comic books. The rapper is no stranger to appearing in comics himself. He appeared in a crossover issue with The Punisher in 2009. In 2013, he was outside his childhood home on a variant cover with Iron Man for the Mighty Avengers. Oh, that wow, same year, cool. Eminem released Rap God. In the lyrics, he made a reference to Odin, Thor, and Superman. It's not even the only time, though, that he's made a lyrical reference to the world of illustrated pages. Shady has spoken about his love of comics in interviews. He stated that he has a lot of vintage Marvel comics, especially characters involving Spider-Man, Hulk, and DC's Batman. In 2009, Shady Records executive Riggs Morales spoke about what he saw in the collection. Somebody put Eminem 
in a uh, comic book movie right now, bro. He it needs to happen. It needs to happen. The MCU, you know, DC. One of y'all need to hit up M and hey, put him in there. <laughs> he said Eminem's collection is otherworldly. He has items that aren't even on display at the stores. Morales name drops the amazing fantasy number 15 is in Shady's collection. That's the issue that Spider-Man first made his appearance. A comic as legendary as this went for over $450,000 at a record-breaking auction. There are even rumors that it's gone for millions elsewhere. It shows us that Eminem is a true believer. And that's it. Which of these big spending entries for a comic book? Jeez. He's grabbed your attention the most. Place your thoughts in the comment section down below. Honestly, we're pretty surprised by Eminem's comic love. Who knew? If you enjoyed That's the right. video, please share and I give us a like. It like really makes us feel good. Like I said, I'm going to leave the original video link in the description. Y'all go check them out. This is the richest. Shouts out to them for making this content right here. It's really dope to see, you know, what M spends his money on. Hey, I, I'm very surprised more at, at the comic thing than anything because that's wild. I didn't know he was in the comics like that, but that's dope, though. Hey, man, all in all, man, like I said, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to start doing videos like this, you know, just different variety of uh, content. I'm going to be reacting to versus just doing music only on my channel. So, y'all let me know in the comments so some suggestions of what videos I need to be watching. I appreciate y'all for watching. It should be a video on my face. That's my newest song. It's called 2020. Click the video on my face. It'll take you right to the song. I sure appreciate that. And we out. Salute, Crown Family. Have a good day. Hey.